everyone. Welcome to another episode of Includability Shorts, a series of short, snappy chats stuffed with hot tips from our incredible includability partner experts. I'm delighted to be joined by the very lovely Laura Slack, founder of B Corp Expert and the go-to guru for all things related to your B Corp journey. Laura, it's amazing to see you as always. Thanks so much for joining me. And I, I know that there's been a lot of excitement around B Corp and the value that gaining certification can bring. Companies might feel nervous about the preparation involved and, and also just where to start. What guidance would you give to all of those potential B Corp companies so that perhaps they could best prepare for, for that journey? So, hi, Dave, and thanks for having me. I think the B Corp is amazing, but can feel really daunting when you first look mm. at it. So I totally get that and I understand where people might be coming from. I think the very first step is to look on the B Corp website. There is so much information on there. There's different bits of information about the categories that you need to certify under. There's the B Corp directory where you can find other businesses that you might go to for inspiration. Brilliant. Um, and all sorts of links. So I think just spending half an hour or so on that website will actually give you loads of knowledge and hopefully inspiration and motivation to go for it. Um, the next thing is the B Impact Assessment is a free, it's free online tool that anyone can use. And that has all the questions on there. There's no obligation if you go on it to certify as a B Corp. You can just use it as a loads and loads of businesses use it as a benchmarking tool. They might not even go on to become B Corps or maybe not straight away, but you can use it to see how you're doing, how you score in each category compared to businesses of similar um, service to your own. Um, and it is just an excellent way to see how you're doing, even if you don't want to become a B Corp. Of course, the intention, and hopefully you will, um, but it's just a really good starting point. So, but when you open the B Impact Assessment, it can be really daunting. I know the first time I looked at it and I thought, I will never know my way around this. It is just mind boggling. So actually, I think the best thing to do is take it one step at a time. Look at one category, take your time, look at the questions. Mm -hmm. And on nearly every question, there's a learn more tab at the top left hand side of the question. It is. It will have a link to more information and sometimes further explanations and links to other businesses. Um, a kind of best practice for that question. And that tab makes so much difference because when I first looked at the B Impact Assessment, it took me a while to even find that because every time I looked on, my mind was blown. Um, but once I did, it made a massive difference. Um, it's just really helpful. So there's also a goal section on the impact assessment where you can create your own goals. So for things that you want to achieve, it could be anything like opening a bank account with a ethical bank. So but that, you know, it might not be something you can do straight away, but you can put on that you want to do it in a certain amount of time. It might be a couple of weeks, a couple of months. And then that will then trigger reminders. Um, so as you go through the process, you'll get emails from B Lab to remind you to look at that, so you don't obviously forget about it. Wow! Um, I think also speak to other B Corps. Go on the B Corp directory, find others that are maybe they don't even necessarily need to be in your country. They are generally most B Corps want other businesses to be B Corps. They want to share the love and encourage other people and help each other. They're not going to say no. If somebody has some great packaging or I've, it's hard to think of an example, but, so, you know, a good deal with their supply, you know, they know that they're managing their supply chain well or they're treating their staff really well and you want some ideas, speak to them because mm. these people want everybody to be on board and want everybody, every business to move forward for a better future for everybody, for people and the planet and profit, which is ultimately what it's all about isn't it laura that's absolutely fantastic like a, a a great range of just kind of guidance to just to try and take away the the fear out of that journey and and i think you're absolutely right b corps there's a a lot of openness a willingness to kind yeah. of share their journey the ups and downs what went well what didn't go so well um and the experience that they can share from that is is absolutely incredible and, and hugely beneficial Laura, you're amazing. Like, honestly, thank you so much. And it's been 
such a joy to catch up as always. And to everyone who's just watched our latest Includability Short, thank you again so much for joining us. And for those light bulb moments, you can, of course, head over to our wearecludability.co.uk website, or you can check out our YouTube and Spotify channels. So keep learning, keep growing, and let's make our workplaces more inclusive, diverse, and mentally healthy together. Thank you so much, and have a fantastic day, everyone.